The house was commissioned in 1915 from Frank Lloyd Wright by Henry J. and Elsie Allen. They received the drawings and in December of 15, made some modifications in 16 when they went to Chicago, started construction in 1917, and moved in in late 1918. Wright grew up on the prairie and he felt like that the, ge the dominant geometric character of the prairie was the horizontal line or the horizontal plane. So everything you see in this house from its deeply raked horizontal joints outside and flush vertical joints inside emphasizes the horizontality of the prairie. And it's also reflected in the way the houses are oriented to the prevailing breezes and everything the emphasis is on hor horizontal geometry. Wright would always use the analogies of music to get across his ideas to his clients that architecture was frozen music. And just like in a sym symphony, uh, there's always uh, a crescendo in the composition and in Wright's work, the crescendo is the living room. It's considered by many visitors to be one of the great rooms of the 20th, 20th century, for example. And you can see that it uh, is a pavilion in nature with the light screens of the art glass. The clear glass he called crystallized frozen air, uh, and your eye goes through it, but, he, uh, but your eye can play with the visual designs of the art glass. Um, and it's like a bookends that frames your views to nature. I mean, Wright is considered the greatest architect of the 20th century and probably one of the greatest of all times. So there is a huge following internationally. This house was published in uh, the Vindican publication in, in Holland in 1925. We have visitors who fly over from there to experience the prairie and come to Wichita to experience the house. Uh, so the house is probably known better outside of Wichita than inside Wichita, particularly for people who are interested in the architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright and the influence that it had on the evolution of the builder architecture or builder uh, houses, for example. And um, so the house is, is uh, important from that standpoint. There are only about 60 um, projects of Frank Lloyd Wright's commercial and residential that are open to the public to experience. And it's important to experience Wright's architecture. You can't grasp the scale or the importance of his architecture that frames your views to nature and emphasis on living in harmony with nature, bringing the outside in, letting it flow back out, continuity of materials on inside and outside, and not superficial finishes like wallpaper and things like this that the Victorians were used to having uh, in the time frame that he was designing these houses.